everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. And it is the final challenge of Street Woman Fighter Season 2. It is the finale. I do know that Bebe wins the show. Congratulations to them. I definitely, it is no shock to me. They were a powerhouse throughout the entire season. I do know second place was Jam Republic. Third was One Million and fourth was Mana Queen. They are definitely the top four that I would have picked to be in the final. So it was such a joy to watch their global mission. And now we are here to to what they are representing as a group. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Breaking boundaries. Breaking boundaries. Woo! What an interesting start. That she wrote, speech to the young, speech to the progress toward. Say to them, say to the down keepers, the sun slappers, the self soilers, the harmony ushers, even if you are not ready for the day, it cannot always be night. Come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> they pulled a Loki Jabberwockies in that beginning. Not, I mean, of course, with the mask, but like. The entire point of that whole first section was we are baby the group. You know, we are not just one person. Like I really feel like they that was that was and that was the entire point of Jabawakis was that. You know, and of course we see multiple masks. I have not seen people use multiple masks like that. I've seen people of course do the masks because Jabawakis definitely were trendsetters in that regard. Also, shout out, you gotta take a look. This is something interesting. Look at their outfits. Their outfits, of course, match the color of their crew, but the material reminds me of Just Jerk when they did their finale track and their finale performance. I feel like this is the material to wear if you're gonna win <laughs> your Street your street Fighter series. This is the one to go with, but that was a complete joke and side note, but this is so cool. I like the fact that this they had the Korean subtitles on the screen. This is cool. Spoken word reminds me of Proud Mon with what they did for their uh, muse of, you know, their muse challenge equivalents of that. That with the spoken word here. It's just fun, you know. Even though we know that this is Bada, it's still, she's got, she's got a mask on so you don't 100% know. Always be night. I love that with the peeling out that oh super cool And it forces you that's what I love about masks is it forces you to look at the whole group and I just love it Just how they chose to use it with this reverb is insane to me with the bringing it up on the whole oh, It just matches that so well I just love that. And I know there's much more context behind why there's certain um, different markings on the masks. I, I know there's that. I love that where they're going from one side all the way over to the other side. Super dope here. 
That was so sick. And instead of traveling it all the way across, she travels it and then dips it down in a swoop. That's freaking sick. That was cool. She looks at the mask, it looks at her, and it looks away. So fun, gimmicky. That right there was super cool. They melt it out, having one person. That was so, so gimmicky, so cool. That was probably one of my favorite parts. That's so strategic. And just having that moment to, for them to all bleed. She goes and puts that mask on, and then it multiplies. Guys. That was so captivating, and I had not, I personally haven't seen people use their mask in that way. They end up taking the mask off, having their own moment here. Throw it, boom, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this feels, they're just very clean and they chose to pop off. They took, they took the opposite route of Mana Queen. Mana Queen, they took like the safe route out of comfort of we want to feel ourselves, but there's no need for us to sit here and overkill it and go for all these risks and stuff because they've had to do that the whole competition. But here they're like, we're going to end on the no we want to. Let's take all these risks. I mean, the complexity is really, really captivating. You also have with the mask gimmick, really difficult to get that right and make sure all the masks are where they need to be. That right there, that woo, having that moment, super cool. They scream, everybody scream, let's go. They go, they go out, they pop off. Wow. I love it going to the step, step building. They're building it up, one person. And then you have the next crew, boom, do 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 do, syncopated. Love it here, super clean. They turn it around with the aerial shot and they finish. Run it, boom, right there at the top. And just the light, that is just so, it makes sense why they won because what they brought in both of these challenges was something like this, this that gimmick was insane. I love that with the masks because normally people use masks, you, you expect certain things, but I didn't expect some of the elements that they brought. And I think that's what made it so captivating. Just them as a group are very clean and I feel like they brought their concept and they felt, this felt like Bebe. You know, and I feel like, I mean, wow, we're, this is, this is the last time I'm looking at them as just a group. This is, this is a lot for me to process right now because this is the last analysis that I'm making of Bebe isolated. And I think that that's like super, at least for the show and just seeing how they, they also showed dynamics and diversity, but it took the public a longer time to see the group as a group than I feel like the group wanted. And I know this was a formed group and it's a lot of people said these, a lot of these people were bought as students. I think like it's really important to know that I feel whenever we got to the battle mission is when people woke up and we were like, this is Bebe the group, right? It's not a bottom made these choices and blah, 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 blah. No, it's a, this is Pepe. And everybody is bringing something great to the table. And I think they accomplished the mission that they wanted of we started the way that we did and we're finishing as Pepe, the group, not Bada and the girls. And they really showcased that with the masks. And then at the end, we got to see everybody featured. And I love that. And I'm definitely, definitely very appreciative of all the different concepts and dynamics and textures and pockets that they brought to the table because it was so wonderful to expand my horizons on different creative ways to get certain concepts across. It was truly a joy to be analyzing them and watching them throughout the entire series. And they were definitely one, one of the groups from the very beginning with the crew previews that I was very much looking forward to. And the fact that they won, I think is definitely, uh, it, it's very fitting for, for where they started to where they are now. I think they definitely are a super well-rounded group of, of creators and dancers and performers. And it, this was just, man, what a great way to finish out Street Woman Fighter, you know? Guys, we did it. We have finished analyzing all of the individual groups. I think there's like one more thing that I have on my schedule to react to regarding the show, but I I don't think I've processed it yet that I've officially 
finished, you know, uh, because I don't know, I've, I've been doing, I've been doing this for a couple months now, and this is technically my first series or my first season of a series that I've, um, watched weekly, you know, because everything else I've just done in bulk, but here it, it is the first time that I, every week I would come and we would react to what, what was on the schedule. And so knowing that I'm officially transitioning to another season or a different series because the series is concluded, it's definitely, it's bittersweet. And I definitely think that these crews brought it. The whole season and the fact that I feel like I've grown so much in these couple of months just as an observer of, of these and analyzing them and giving feedback or things that I've noticed, things that were new to me, I really feel like I'm better for it, you know? And at the end of the day, I feel like any crew could have taken it, but the one, the fact that Bebe took it, I'm really glad and happy for them and major congratulations to them for it. But also everybody else in the finals held it down and it was such a joy to watch. Thank you guys for being a part of the journey with me. It's truly been incredible. You will keep seeing me, of course, with other reactions, but uh, this is one of the last times I'm signing off for Street Woman Fighter season two. I'm Jess. Thank you again and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye guys.